The, the thing I love about rockabilly guitar, and I've always loved about it, is it's, it's aggression. It's a very aggressive sound in music, and it can be as aggressive as you want it to be, or it can be as nice as you want it to be, as, and every, every way in between as well. And uh, I've always found that with the, with the Delta Blues, I can get every different style of rockabilly that I, that I want to play and that I like to hear. The Delta Blues is that sort of happy medium for me, where it's, it's got a lot of virtues of vintage amps, but it's modern and, it, and it's reliable. And uh, they're, they're the, 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 that's the two things that I, that I, that I really want in, 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 in the equipment that I use. <laughs> I have a single chord pickups on, on all my guitars and I just feel that of all the amps I've ever used, the Delta Blues and those pickups really do work well together. It's quite a brittle tone, or well, that's the sound that I like to get, and the, the Delta Blues captures that perfectly. It was about 15 years ago that I, that I first bought uh, a Delta Blues and it was on the way to a gig um, and it was very much a spur of the moment thing. I just happened to be passing this little town and um, I saw a guitar shop. I saw the, the Delta Blues, I tried it and, and I bought it. Originally my plan was to have it as a studio amp. It turned out that within a very short space of time I was using it not just in the, in the studio but, but um, on every gig I was doing. And, didn't know what, what stage we play on, how big or how small. The amp just kicks out enough volume. It really is a fantastic amp. Certainly for the work that I do with the Melder now, it's, it's a, a very aggressive sound that is needed on stage. So the overdrive settings just do that perfectly. The clean channel is fantastic for when I'm doing the picking stuff, the sort of Merle Travis, uh, uh, Chet Atkins thing that I, that I do quite badly sometimes, but it's, it, it, you get the full sound of the 15 inch speaker there, it really picks up all the, the wonderful bass notes and uh, I'm very, very happy with it. There's a track called Gypsy in Me, and the sound that, that we got out of the Delta Blues there was was a lot heavier than I've ever gone for before. But Gypsy in Me turned out really, really well, and we performed that on um, later with Jules uh, a couple of weeks ago. And that, for me, I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, it's probably not cool to say you enjoyed yourself on the television, but I quite enjoyed listening back to that really. And um, wonderful when you've got the amp and the guitar all working and, and it's another string to the bow really for the amp as far as I'm concerned. It's like if I have to do anything like that again in the future I'll, I'll know what to do. Turn the amp on, you just put the, the knobs to where they normally go, and then you get the sound that you want. And you'd be surprised the amount of amps I've had in the past where you turn them off, go back the next day, turn them on again, and they sound completely different. But with the Delta Blues, it's very simple. You turn it on, you get the sound that you want. And uh, that consistency is invaluable when you're on top. 